The Pride of Youth, Sir W. Scott, Life and Death, encapsulated simply here. Notes in the back of the book. Maisie, Mary. Scott has given us nothing more complete and lovely than this little song, which unites simplicity and dramatic power to a wildwood music of the rarest quality. No moral is drawn, far less any conscious analysis of feeling attempted. The pathetic meaning is left to be suggested by the mere presentment of the situation. Inexperienced critics have often named this, which may be called the Homeric manner, superficial from its apparent simple facility, but first-rate excellence in it, as shown here in 196, 156, and 129, is in truth one of the least common triumphs of poetry. This style should be compared with what is not less perfect in its way, the searching out of inner feeling, the expression of hidden meanings, the revelation of the heart of nature and of the soul within the soul. The analytical method, in short, most completely represented by Wordsworth and by Shelley. The Pride of Youth Proud Maisie is in the wood, walking so early. Sweet Robin sits on the bush, singing so rarely. Tell me, thou bonny bird, when shall I marry me? When six braw gentlemen Kirkward shall carry me? Who makes the bridal bed, birdie say truly? The grey-headed sexton that delves the grave duly. The glowworm or graven stone shall light thee steady, the owl from the steeple sing, welcome, proud lady.